Milwaukee City Health Department urging residents to immediately stop using vaping products. This comes after 16 people were hospitalized just this month with severe lung disease. A statement from the department says all patients reported vaping in the weeks and months before they became ill with what's described as an inflammation of the lungs. Ten counties reported these kinds of hospitalizations. Right now, the minimum age to buy nicotine or tobacco products here in Wisconsin is 18, but a bill would increase the minimum age to 21. Health departments expressed their support for the bill. They're hoping it reduces the number of young adults who smoke and limits the easy access to these products. Jamie Perez spoke with local tobacco retailers about it today. Well, right now, there's already 18 states who have increased their minimum age of buying or consuming tobacco products to 21. The lawmakers in favor of the bill say tobacco companies target young adults and that most people start smoking before the age of 21. They say by raising the minimum age, they can prevent this from happening or at least reduce it. But some local stores who sell popular items like vape pens, jewels, and e-cigs had different opinions on how this could impact them and their customers. We've all heard the stories about how vaping and e-cigs are gaining popularity, but with that comes some health risks. A bill in Wisconsin is proposing to raise the minimum age of buying or consuming tobacco or nicotine products to 21. Supporters of the bill say they hope this can keep tobacco products out of the hands of young people. But Brandon Sanchez, who manages Vapor Wireless, says while he supports the changes, he doesn't think it will solve the public health crisis associated with it. More and more, especially lately, we're seeing older, the, the average age is kind of going up, I think. Sanchez says only about 10% of his customers are under the age of 20. Maybe more closer to State Street area in town here because it is more of the college population. So we checked that out too. Knuckleheads Tobacco and Vapes Manager Landon Maskey says the number of people under 21 he sells to now. Maximum I'm looking at 30%. 70% are already over 21 years old. But it's still a good chunk of his customers that he could potentially lose if this bill were to pass. Still, Sanchez thinks the change couldn't hurt. If they want to regulate this stuff, I think that's a good idea as long as they don't overdo it. National data says most smokers started smoking when they were teenagers and that the younger you start, the more likely you are to become addicted. I don't think it's a bad idea to um, make people wait a little bit longer. Health departments say raising the minimum age would help solve the health issues related to vaping by keeping it out of the hands of people who are underage. You're not going to solve the problem. They will find ways to do it just like they find ways to buy alcohol. I don't think changing the law is going to necessarily stop every single 18 to 21 year old or 18 to 20 year old from vaping, but I think it does make it that much more difficult. Both vape store managers said they could lose some of their customers if the bill passes, but that the proposed changes still don't stop those who are over 21 from using these products and dealing with the health risks associated with it. Something Meski says is what lawmakers should be focusing on. If you're looking at purely the health reasons, I think there's still not even close to enough long-term research. The chances of the bill passing are still up in the air at this point. And as I mentioned, 18 states already have laws in place like this. I'll have a link on our website about what impact this has had on smoking rates in those states.